Hello everyone. Good afternoon. Uh, so today we have with us Rashi Agarwal. Uh, she'll be talking on how to maintain harmony between work and study. She has nearly five years of work experience, and currently she is a senior executive in Tata A E uh, I uh, Life Insurance and AIA Life Insurance. Sorry, and she has uh, won a lot of uh, good performance. Awards in Tata AI, and also uh, she has cleared thirteen papers of actuarial science. She'll be talking about how to maintain harmony between work and study. I want all of you all to please switch on your cameras if possible, and if you all have uh, any doubts, you all can raise your hands once she finishes um, her session. Thank you so much, uh, Rashi. You can start. Thank you. So hello everyone. Uh, I hope everyone has joined. Anyone here to join? So uh, we'll start the session for today. Um, and today's topic is how to maintain harmony between uh, study and work. I'll start with my introduction. Uh, for those who, uh, those of y'all who have attended my previous session, which was uh, how to connect via LinkedIn and uh, insights on life insurance domain, uh, you already know me. Uh, for rest of you all, my name is Rajya Gawal. I am pass out of uh, Xavier's College, Calcutta, uh, 2017 batch. Uh, I have clear 13 actual papers, left with two big ones, uh, big papers, CA1 and SA2. Uh, I'm currently working uh, as a senior executive uh, in Tata EIA as a part of with profit team. And uh, so Praveen wanted to have a fancy topic for today. So harmony uh, between study and work is a topic. Um, <clears throat> first of all, help me understand the target audience over here. Uh, are there students who are uh, still in college? And uh, is everyone from actual background or uh, from other domain also? Just raise your hand uh, if you're working uh, and if, you, if you're from actual domain. Um, seems like most of you all are from actual. Perfect. So, uh, yeah, I think uh, that's enough because the topic is so generic. Uh, I wanted to know, you know, before starting, otherwise I'll be more specific to actual or try to be generic. Um, and I'll give you all my examples also wherever relevant or uh, if you all are from actual, you'll be able to relate. And if you're working, it will be even more uh, beneficial for you all. <clears throat> uh, okay. So, um, so I'll highlight the key takeaways from today's session. And uh, so yeah, Pravi mentioned uh, you all can uh, give the poll, submit the poll. Fine, yeah. So the key takeaways, first of all, I'll tell you the importance of having focus. Second, having a proper plan. And third is how to deal with challenging work uh, profile. If you are an actual and if you're working in core insurance, I think uh, it will be relevant. Uh, and especially, I think for this diet, uh, this topic is uh, really helpful because uh, most of the companies will have their year and work uh, this time and uh, given that exams are approaching, you need to have that balance uh, between work and studies. So yeah, I'll start with the first thing. <clears throat> it's very important to have focus. You know, you have to know what you want in your life and uh, roughly by when you want to uh, achieve the targets or achieve your goals. Um, and there's no harm in being over ambitious, I'll say over here. So I'll give you my example. Uh, I'm someone who is very determined, very clear what I want in my life. And, you know, so uh, just after my graduation, I wanted to settle with a good job. I wanted to have a good job if, uh, like by the end of the college and uh, land up in actual. 
and uh, i made constant effort to uh, get one and just after the, my graduation i did get internship in tata ia and uh, it was the internship tenure was of 6 months uh, and i did want to get a permanent role badly so i gave my 100% in the role and you know i slogged day and la- day and night literally nights also i had to give my nights and uh, leave upon my social life to uh, slog and work and study and get the permanent role i wanted to uh, have that i i'm i'm a little bit competitive i don't know if it works for you all uh, but yeah it works in my case i i also i have always you know um been that competitive and uh, want to uh, i always set standards for myself that uh, you know i want to clear this paper this by this uh, diet and uh, i want to be so in that case uh, i was i wanted to be permanent and uh, yeah in my batch like uh, of tata ai initially that time uh, 11 interns were hired uh, in that 2017 batch and all of us had 6 months tenure internship tenure and uh, i was uh, i was the one first one to get absorbed because you know my work reflected uh, the uh, potential and w- the, whatever my peers managers felt that uh, it was required for the role so uh, you have to be very clear first of all if you are working or if you are you know focusing on papers whatever the priorities are you have to set the priorities that way uh, so if you all are working if you all are first of all most of the students over here i think they are still in college um i'll, I'll just uh, you know try to cover those uh, cover that college uh, part also बिकॉज यू नो कॉलेज टाइम बहुत सारे मिसकनसेप्शन होते हैं कि पेपर्स ज्यादा हो गए तो कंपनीज हायर नहीं करेगी तो आई आई थिंक आई मेड दिस क्लियर इन अर्लियर सेशन ऑल्सो दैट डू फोकस ऑन पेपर्स फर्स्ट टू ईयर्स यू डोंट हैव टू बॉद अबाउट जॉब पेपर्स पे ही फोकस करो बिकॉज अल्टीमेटली पेपर्स डू हेल्प यू गेट वॉट एवर द इंटर्नशिप और जॉब जॉब परमानेंट रोल मे बी that helps papers helps you a lot the first two years your target should be just papers third year uh, you have to you know get into that uh, job zone also ki ha mujhe by the end of year i have to get one internship also in cv kyunki college ke sath sath you can have that summer internship or at least uh, while the college also goes on uh, during your college period also you can go for internship aajkal to online bhi the options hai so या कॉलेज तक फोकस करो फर्स्ट टू इयर्स एग्जाम्स सेकेंड ईयर थर्ड ईयर में जॉब के साथ मतलब पेपर्स के साथ साथ इंटर्नशिप भी करो एंड यू हैव टू मैनेज योर कॉलेज एग्जाम्स आल्सो सो हाउ आई मैनेज माय कॉलेज एक्चुरल पेपर्स एंड द इंटर्नशिप आई यूज टू यू नो आई वाज आई वाज अ मॉर्निंग पर्सन लाइक बिकॉज I was staying away from family, and I used to say, you know, PG or uh, while I was in college, graduation time, I used to get up early in the morning, six a.m. and go to the library. Xavier's library was amazing, and I I hope it's still the case. And I used to just go to the library, get up six a.m., six thirty or seven, uh, whenever the library just opens up. I used to go, go rush to the library, six to uh, ten, pada. Then I took a break, uh, came back, ha- had my breakfast. then went back again to the library studied for good 2 3 hours again took a break and then my college used to start from 4 am 4 pm so uh, this worked for me because you know fresh mind say uh, you can grasp things better and uh, college time me you uh, you are giving practical papers ct4 ct6 ct3 so these papers but any for me uh, i like i used to, i have that habit of working in that like li- studying in that library zone library area where you know you get motivation uh, from other people see he is also studying he is also studying i also need to study so that really worked for me and college i used to cover you know most of my uh, college jo bhi assignments wagera hote the in my college hours only and uh, after college 8 8 pm or obviously i i no one has that time you know you get up at 6 am so uh, i i won't really you know be very kya bolu yahan pe khali gyan nahi baat rahi hu main ki 6 baje tum log utho subah and then attend the college also from 4 to 8 in the evening and then again get back to studies if it's possible for you all if it works then there's no harm 
so in my case i can you know never compromise on my sleep i am not the one who can uh, avoid like who can sleep for 3 4 hours and get up fresh and start studying but if it works for you all then there's nothing better than that you can obviously uh, st- study after your college hours also for those of you all who are from bco morning or who have uh, morning college uh, you have no choice uh, after the college maybe you know take a nap of one hour or so and then start studying if you are na- night owl then obviously you are at an advantage there so that's for the college students who are still uh, who haven't entered the work uh, profile yet and uh, they are still looking for a job maybe or internship they just have to struggle they have to just juggle between their college studies and actual studies actual exams so it's really you know quite easy for you all i'll say to utilize this time and just you have enough time because once you start working you don't have that privilege you don't get that much time to study so clear as many papers as you can uh, during your college time uh, so someone message how many papers you cleared by your graduation so yeah i cleared five papers because you know there was a myth that you can't clear uh, if you have cleared more than three four papers you won't be hired so i had this misconception so uh, i used to go slow every night i used to just give one paper uh and yeah i used to ensure ki that paper i at least i cleared that paper there was one that i guess in which i gave two papers and i cleared both of them uh i guess ct 3 and ct 7 uh yeah so during till my college time i cleared five papers and after that i started working and so far uh, like i have cleared 13 papers so uh, eight papers i have cleared uh, while working and uh, it has not been easy so coming to uh, how to balance study actual papers along with work life work uh, life it uh, is actually very difficult uh, you have to you know firstly leave behind your social life agar matlab if you want to have all three social life bhi chahiye job mein bhi want to excel and you want to clear papers also you will make a mess the no things practically possible nahi hai is what i feel Uh, so somewhere or the other you have to you know say no to your friends agar kabhi party ka plan ban raha hai because see you're slogging for uh, five days a week monday to friday you are so exhausted that you want to uh, take that break on the weekend but you don't have that luxury because you have exams approaching and you can't afford to you know go and chill with your friends so yeah you have to somewhere leave your social life thoda bahut break le liya that's fine i also i won't you know suggest like i am also not that kind of person ki main din raat padhte rahu to thoda bahut break le liya that's fine but ye nahi ki weekend hai to pura din hi ghoomte reh gaye so firstly you have to learn to say no to social life like no to uh, parties and uh, gatherings with your friends so that's one uh, thing you need to start doing and uh, so for i'll give you my example while i was in turning um i used to uh, stay with my relatives and my office abhi to work from home chal raha hai that time i had to go to office and my office was one hour away from my relatives place so traveling ka hi 2 ghanta din ka chal jata tha so uh, what worked for me was like i i told you have that habit of studying in that uh, library kind of environment and where i can see people all around studying and uh, it's a, it's a quiet calm place where you can study and there's no distraction so what i decided to do uh, during my internship period or say you know in the initial years of my job i used to get up early in the morning and uh, leave one or two hours before the office hours so if say my office work starts from 10 or 10:30 i used to leave at uh, 7:30 or 8 and uh, go to the office and study over there so uh, what i did like because i wanted to have other people also around studying with me uh, i told you all i had i was amongst the uh, 11 interns batch so what i did we all have same, had same ambitions same ambition we all wanted to clear papers all wanted to get a job like get a permanent role from the internship so uh, i tried to convince them also to come to the office and uh, some of like obviously out of 11 not everyone agreed to it but yeah two two to three people agree to it and they used to also come to uh, office and used to study together that really you know helps so company over here i'll say matters a lot so 
it's very important to have a good company people who are same you know like minded people and who are as ambitious as you maybe more uh, there's no harm if you are surrounded by people who are more ambitious uh, it will also always help you so that really helped me and before you know office hours at your you had that fresh mind that one or two hours will be more than your uh, say 2 3 hours after the office uh, hours because you are already so exhausted after uh, having 12 13 hours of uh, work and uh, traveling 2 hours a day so you don't have that energy left so i used to make ensure that at least i study one or two hours before the office hours but in that case i'll also suggest that don't be adamant over here when i say you need to have proper plan or uh, over here you can say that you had that plan of you know studying every day one or two hours before the office uh, of it before the work uh there were days when you know we had to we were called at the office at 7 am because we had training session or maybe some work had come urgent work and we were all called up at 7 am to just start with work so i could not you know crib i did not have that uh, um, I, i was giving paper for myself and if i give excuses to myself that won't really help so uh, people might say that uh, you the your work hampered your plan and uh, if my plan did not work i cannot clear papers so that doesn't really help you know that just an excuse you give to yourself you have to clear paper you have to set the target and in no way you should let anything uh, hamper it after graduation anyone message after graduation we should just focus on papers or we should go for masters or any specialization or something like that so to answer this actually specialization uh you can go for it uh there's no harm you know if you have good money and uh your family is ready to spend uh, that much amount in having a good masters degree from outside india there's no harm in going for it i don't think many everyone can afford it in the first place and uh, i'll get back to the second question later so yeah uh, if you want to go for masters there's no harm but you can also clear papers and uh, while you're working because work experience do matter a lot because you know even after you have your graduation so you have taken 3 years of your graduation then you go for masters which will say uh, take another one or two years and then you come and you start fresh um yeah so you have to start fresh you know there are after, like after graduation i joined uh, the internship the way i started i started as intern and someone who uh, graduated from same batch uh, from mine like 2017 mein graduation kiya they took one or two years uh, for their masters they came back they started in the same company they they started as a fresher again like unko bhi same hi role mila jo mujhe ek saal pehle ya do saal pehle mila initially wo you know you have to start from that same level so it depends on you if you can uh, if you apply your knowledge you gained in your masters and you know try to level up and uh, uh yeah try to level up and reach uh, at that same level then there's no harm you have to it's your call ultimately <clears throat> so ha huh, as for we mentioned i'll take up all the calls later uh once i fin- finish it one second yeah so i was telling you all about uh, <clears throat> like what helped me i used to study early in the morning and company matters a lot really mm. so <clears throat> so i was talking about excuses so i was supposed to say called in the office uh, early in the morning for uh, some training session or work in that case you know i had to ensure that i covered up for that day the hours i wasted or say it was utilized work me he used wa it will help me up get, help in getting permanent role so uh, i can't say no to that work obviously because initially uh, beggars also beggars can't be choosers that way but uh, so i had to obviously give my time to work also and in order to cover up for the lost time i used to give extra time over the weekend ya jab bhi time mila and cover up like extra ka weekend mein main planned hai 6 hours i'll ensure that my 6 hours ke badle 8 hours pad lu taki you know wo cover up ho jaye and somehow plan will be you have that uh, 
थोड़ा बहुत आगे पीछे अलाउ फॉर करते हैं अनसर्टेनिटीज को सो यू हैव टू प्लान अकॉर्डिंगली डोंट बी एडमिट वन अगेन सोशल लाइफ अगेन या इफ यू यू नो जैसे मैंने बोला कि वीकेंड में कवर अप कर लो बट यू गेट लेजी ओवर देयर एंड से नहीं नहीं अब तो टाइम नहीं है देन इट्स योर कॉल यू हैव टू बी डिटरमाइंड दैट वे and uh, you have to utilize your time free time productively and uh, <clears throat> you have to actually decide ki tumhe relaxation chahiye social life chahiye or you want a good career and by career i mean you know good job also maintain a good position in your career in your job and clear good papers also uh, quickly so <clears throat> because i'll tell you my experience is after i joined uh, this internship in tata I saw many freshers coming up with eight, nine papers at entry level only. So you know that used to push me. Ki, ha, I have to also reach that level. So that also motivates you a lot. So keep so look, look at the, look around yourself. Office with jitte bhi log kam kar rahe hai, approach them ki ab log ne itte papers itte jaldi kaise clear kiye or what works for you. You know they'll obviously help you some way or the other. Seeking out for help really. Uh, doesn't harm you in the first place and it will always uh, give you make you give you good learning only so uh, and that's about how to manage time or uh, someone do you think i'll i'll answer get back to questions as mentioned and uh, <clears throat> so now that you know exams are approaching uh, you many of you all uh, must be uh, well prepared but many like me would be here join who have joined this session to you know get motivation ki aaj kuch padhne ke liye de de mujhe kuch motivation de de so i'll tell you you have to study smart also because once you start working you don't have time like college ki ha you have 678 uh, uh, day time 678 hours uh, during the day to study or just focus on studies while working you don't get get that liberty don't you don't have that luxury so you have to study smart so giving my example there was one diet in which i was appearing for sp1 and uh, i'm working in a core company so like being in a core company company i was a victim of year end so it was a mass diet and uh, i had to uh, work really hard for year end year end work and um, i did not have have time to go through the material study material so for practical papers i think praveen and shivangi will be able to help you uh, guide you better so in case of theory papers uh, which are you know better easier to uh, clear during uh, while working what i did i uh, did not get into material study material but i ne i just studied the summaries and i went into the past papers so i studied summaries well past papers acche se dekh liya enough past papers and that was literally i covered those in 10 days literally 10 days and i just did not pass i cleared i cleared sp1 with good marks so you have to also ensure that you study smart ye nahi ki book leke baithe rahe khali pura din and you are not focused pura din barbaad kar diya you don't have that luxury while you're working so uh, वही है कि यू हैव टू स्टडी स्मार्ट एंड कॉन्सेंट्रेशन होना चाहिए पूरा टाइम बिकॉज यू नो अगर कॉलेज टाइम पे यू वर यू हैड थ्री फोर आवर्स अ डे से अगर तुम्हारे और भी वो इंटर्निंग वाइल कॉलेज इंटर्नशिप के आगे पीछे भी हाफ डे इंटर्नशिप ही होता है अगर कॉलेज के साथ साथ कर रहे हो तो यू हैड सफिशेंट टाइम ड्यूरिंग कॉलेज बट जॉब के साथ तो नहीं मिलने वाला है लाइक आफ्टर कॉलेज यू कंपनीज ऑल्सो डिमांड अलॉट की हाँ इतना काम करो बहुत सारे एक्सपेक्टेशन होते हैं सीनियर्स के सो यू हैव टू मीट अप दैट एक्सपेक्टेशन एंड इफ यू वॉन्ट टू हैव अ गुड पोजिशन इन द कंपनी यू हैव टू फाइट फॉर इट यू हैव टू यू नो मेक योर लेवल सच दैट सीनियर्स ऑल्सो अप्रिशिएट योर वर्क सो दैट्स अबाउट मैनेजिंग स्टडी एंड वर्क कमिंग टू वॉट आर द चैलेंजेस यू वॉट चैलेंजेस यू फेस इफ यू हैव अ डिमांडिंग रोल so uh, if you are working in core company i feel uh, we are at our age and you will have demanding work demanding role so first thing main fazu ka gyan nahi dene wali hu uh ye nahi ki khali jo sab tum log youtube pe search karoge ki how to uh, deal with work and studies bahut hi bahut hi practical hone wali hu main yahan pe 
and i'll say that you have to learn to say no um, you know i my nature I'm, i can't say no easily agar mujhe koi manager call karke bole ki ye sunday ko bhi ye kaam kar do raat ka 10 baj raha hai 12 baje aa raha hai call 1 baje bhi aa raha hai call ki ye kar do na thoda additional time hai there are times matlab main kar, na kar hi nahi sakti hu and i think it happens with most of you all most of the people but you know you have to set time limits to uh, you know your availability also ki theek hai main do weekend se kaam kar rahi hu but i can't stretch this weekend i can't work this weekend and uh, you have to be polite you know you can't be uh, very rude and uh, be upfront ki main to nahi karne wali hu you have to talk to your supervisors you have to gain their support also without their support you won't be able to uh, manage it and um, in my case i've actually been very lucky to uh, uh, in that case that i have had many very good supervisors and uh, so there was one day in which i cleared three papers i you know upfront i told my manager well in advance that i am appearing for three papers many of them laughed away straight on my face that uh, you know is this joking how will you clear three papers it's tata please uh, <laughs> let's not uh, make it public but uh, anyways uh, yeah i had bad working hours and everyone laughed ki kaise hoga teen papers but i spoke to my supervisors i told her ki i can work till uh, you know 12 hours bhi chalega mujhe 10 se 9 10 se 10 tak kaam kar liya but after that i need a break and i have to study because i have to clear papers my manager my supervisor supervisor was very supportive we uh, we planned study leaves and uh, you know you it's not possible to get study leaves as planned always uh, but if you uh, gain your supervisor's confidence and you do clear the work required work on required time uh, you can uh, get study leaves also while working and i don't know if it's applicable for everyone here but in some companies we do have this uh, study policy most of them and you have to ensure that you st- utilize these study leave properly you know you have to use each study leave study each in each study leave in such a way that you have that in mind ki what if i don't get other study leaves tabhi wo effective study hoga but then you won't be able to give your 100% so on each study leave i had this thing in my mind ki this is the last where i'm getting last study leave i'm getting or uh, after today i'm sure ki kal se to kaam bahut hectic hectic hone wala hai so uh, that really helped me a lot that pushed me ki uh, push me to give my 100% so that's about study leave talking to supervisor really helps uh, i just hope you all get good supervisors uh, may all be as lucky as me in that case and uh, you also have to you know talk like uh, take their opinion what do they think so what happens that there are certain diet in which say if there is a if it's your end so in this case um in my case i was thinking of gi- giving both the papers i'm left with ca1 and sa2 i wanted to give both of them and just be done with uh, all the papers but i spoke to my supervisor i uh, i was both of us were very practical that it's a year end and i am new to this team because uh, it's just been one or two months i came from a different role uh, it's totally new to me and uh, we i had to put extra effort i also wanted to you know learn the things very well ye nahi ki khali kaam kare wo kar diya i wanted to have good good understanding of it so practically my, we came to a conclusion that both the papers are not happening so i just uh, decided to give one paper this diet and you know that too i am not very sure uh, like ki kitna practical hai kitna nahi hai because uh, given the timelines but we yeah, are talking to seniors taking their opinion really helps plan your study leave well in advance you know because others also in your team will be uh, in this on the same board baki log bhi papers de rahe hai uh there will be few qualified people but for uh, you know at dual level there will be many people who are uh, who still giving papers so the leaves will also have to be planned accordingly so you'll have to discuss well in advance so seeking out help from supervisors keep like you have to keep the, keep your eyes on the bigger picture ki ha mujhe ye papers clear karne hai i have to excellent job also so those things are there be realistic at the same time you know i told you all there's no harm in being over ambitious but you have to be realistic also 
मानो लाइक यू हैव टू जैसे अभी मान लो मैंने सोचा कि मुझे सीए वन दे रहा है आई एम एम्बिश आई वॉन्ट टू क्लियर इट बट आई नो कि कितना प्रैक्टिकली पॉसिबल भी है आई विल गिव माई हंड्रेड परसेंट टू इट बट देर इज सम स्कोप दैट आई माई क्लैक बिहाइंड सो यू हैव टू बी प्रैक्टिकल ऑल्सो बिकॉज यू नो एक्चुअली कर रहे हो यू कैंट बी अफ्रेड ऑफ फेलियर ऑल्सो सो एंड वंस यूर वर्किंग यू हैव टू लर्न टू एक्सेप्ट फेलियर ऑल्सो बिकॉज इट्स रियली प्रैक्टिकली वेरी डिफिकल्ट टू क्लियर पेपर्स वाइल वर्किंग सो But anyways, I believe in that quote: "Aim for the stars, and you land up on the moon at least." So, aim high and work for it. Let everything else uh, depend on your hard depend on your hard work, and make the most out of your time. Jutta time available hai, please please be very focused. We be very determined. Ki mujhe ye de raha hai to de raha hai. Don't let anything else hamper social life. Ko thoda kar roll karo. Yeah, that's that's really important. I know some of the things which I said might backfire me. If if anyone from my team has joined already, वो लोग बोलेंगे कि हमें I've learned to say no and uh, you know I can't do this work. आज मुझे पढ़ाई करनी है. But थोड़ा practical हो जा रहा. That's also what uh, that's also something which I have mentioned. So uh, yeah, that's all about it. Um, I'll I'll add one more line that if I have if I have been able to clear so many papers while working. I'm sure each and every one over here can do it. Like there's, you know, ऐसा कुछ नहीं होता कि वो brainy है वो कर सकता है मुझसे नहीं होगा. So keep just keep just throw that thing away from your mind and just do your hard work, do the work you are supposed to do and study hard. Uh, that's about it. I'll just start taking up the questions. so there's one question from shreya arora how to grab internship this is not the topic uh, by the way but uh, okay i'll help you all uh, with this internship linkedin pe active raho cvs forward karo seniors se baat karo कॉलेज में जो प्लेसमेंट्स आ रहे हैं उसमें अप्लाई करो सो दो थिंग्स आर यू नो की की टॉप पॉइंट नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम प्रवीण नहीं नहीं प्रवीण ने तो बस टाइप किया है सो यार फिर आई विल हैव अनदर सेशन फॉर दैट इंटर्नशिप पार्ट प्लीज लेट There is one question: Which technical skills do you feel are helpful for entry level aspirants? So, technical skills, yeah, Excel, तो बहुत अच्छे से आना चाहिए. अगर Excel नहीं आता है, तो फिर बहुत painful होता है तुम्हारे managers के लिए. I'll not name out, but हाँ, मेरे साथ हुआ भाई कि there are interns who, you know, fresher level पे वो लोग join किए हैं. या तो उनको हो भी गया है time काम करते हुए. दे डोंट नो एक्सेल वेल उनको हमें वी लुकअप एच लुकअप सिखाना पड़ता है सो इट्स वेरी पेनफुल प्लीज एक्सेल पे तो हाथ अपना बैठा लो बाकी सॉफ्टवेयर और सारे सीख जाओ तो और भी अच्छा है एस सीख जाओ और प्रॉफिट का तो लाइसेंस इश्यू होगा मैंने पिछले बार भी बोला था पेपर्स क्लियर करो सी देर आर यू नो सम पेपर्स जो बहुत ही हेल्पफुल होते हैं जॉब लाइफ में सी ए टू बहुत अच्छा हेल्पफुल होता है बहुत हेल्पफुल होता है बिकॉज उसमें क्या है यू गेट टू नो हाउ टू मेक मॉडल्स और सी ए थ्री की कैसे कम्युनिकेट करना है चीजों को दीज टू पेपर्स ऑल्सो रियली हेल्प यू ऑल्सो इफ यू हैव क्लियर प्रिवियस लाइक अदर पेपर्स टेक्निकल पेपर सी टी सीरीज देन गो टू सी ए टू सी ए थ्री बिकॉज दे एट द लॉट ऑफ वैल्यू एस टी इफ यू आर वर्किंग इन इफ यू आर प्लानिंग टू वर्क इन लाइफ इंश्योरेंस तो एस टी टू पढ़ो उसे तुम्हारे कंसेप्ट क्लियर होंगे तो पेपर शुड बी योर क्लियर शुड बी योर फर्स्ट प्रायोरिटी प्रायोरिटी देन अदर प्रोग्रामिंग लैंग्वेजेस आई ऑलरेडी कवर्ड एस क्यू एल सी जो आर सीख सकते हो एक्सेप्ट आर इसमें लिखा गया है बट हाँ इतना भी कर लो काफी है प्रेजेंटेशन बनाने सीख जाओ एक्सेल एस क्यू एल में मतलब वीबीए सीख लो वीबीए प्राइजिंग जो भी टीम कंपनी होती है इंश्योरेंस कंपनीज प्राइजिंग टीम में ना बहुत ज्यादा बहुत ज्यादा वीबीए का यूज होता है 
तो यू हैव यू गेट गुड आइडिया ऑफ कोडिंग ऑल्सो फ्रॉम वी वी एस तुम बहुत सारे मैक्रोज लिख लोगे सो जो काम दो घंटे में हो सकता है यू कैन राइट अ गुड मैक्रो एंड यू कैन बी डन विद दैट वर्क इन से टेन टू फिफ्टीन मिनट्स सो दैट विल सेव अ लॉट ऑफ योर टाइम तो अगर हाँ यहाँ पे अगर आप लोग वी आर डिस्कसिंग हाउ टू मेंटेन बैलेंस बिटवीन स्टडी एंड वर्क If you have good technical skills, जो काम दस घंटे में हो सकता है तो वो दो घंटे में खत्म कर दोगे that was i guess march 20 diet yeah, i had i was planning to appear for st uh, st1 which is sp1 now from india diet i could not attempt uh, give that diet because indian exams got cancelled then is work life balance good after all 13 papers on and how how would you compare work life balance as an actuary with other industries see work life balance after 13 papers is also not good uh but i can't complain because uh i chose this profession and i, I don't think i made a wrong decision and i'm i'm also learning uh from like you know each passing day and um, i try to maintain that balance between work and studies so let's see uh, how the exam diet goes Uh, and other industries you know there are com- industries like cf ca lo ka bhi life easy nahi hota hai aur uh, mvs ka bhi life easy nahi hota hai if you are uh, in in investment banking tumhara life aur bhi difficult hai so everyone has you know every every profile has their pros and cons so they you, you just can't compare it like you know in, in with a paper pen ki ha ye better hai ye nahi every every field has their own uh, pros and cons uh pravi or can ask questions related to topics today theek hai i was planning to give cp1 in the next attempt what are some of the tips for clearing cp1 so uh, this is from shreshth puddar so once i clear it maybe i come up with your with an answer to this question And it's not easy. I I clear. I tried to. Uh, I appeared for CP one and CM two last diet. I cleared CM two, but I left. I was left with three marks. I scored three marks less than pass marks. So it's not easy. It's not a cakewalk. So a uh, heads up to you. Janvi Sud would suggest me to take internship while doing masters final year and give CM two this year. But after this, I have to start with CP series. Yeah, it's it's very uh, you know th- you, I don't have any specific answer to this ki masters ke saath uh, internship to agar mil jati hai to it's good and papers ka kya hai if you if you can clear cm2 now abhi kar lo cd series ya ss series to baad mein hote rahegi pa- practical papers to abhi kar lo because once you start working you won't have that you know hands on uh, paper pe- paper pen mein practice karne ka time nahi milne wala hai abhi to chalo word mein ho gaya hai But anyways, you won't get time. Theory papers बाद के लिए बचा के रखो. जितना भी अभी practical papers है clear कर सकते हो. Keep those as priority. So Ishan Gupta says, I've cleared four papers. Should I leave job to clear more papers? Since I feel I wouldn't able to clear CS two. No, no, please don't leave job. <laughs> People do manage. to clear papers with exam maine clear kiya hai peak time pe bhi there were times when uh, you know we worked for 24 hours at a stretch we, we we used to work from office that time but phir bhi wo log ke paper clear hue hai people top that exam also from my office so people can clear students can clear papers while working also please don't leave your job to clear papers um, so you another question i've just joined my first internship a week ago and i find myself lost about how to go about my studies and work as 50% work from home and 50% work from office hmm yeah this session was all about it 
मैनेज करो आगे पीछे अलोंग विथ योर वर्क आज सी यू हैव यू गर्ल्स हैव रियली यू नो एंड अपर हैंड की तुम लोग को वर्क फ्रॉम होम का ऑप्शन मिल रहा है in my during my time maine bataya aap logo ki i used to waste two hours in traveling uh, my office was one hour away from my relative space so you have to utilize that time also 50% work from home hai utilize that time to study office hours ke pehle karo baad mein karo whatever suit you all if you are day person day person morning mein shuru karo time night out ho to office ke baad 1 ghanta ka nap le lo half an hour ka nap le lo and then start start fresh so in my case like me coffee is a good stress booster for me so what i used to do jab mere office hours bahut you know hectic the and i could not you know manage to get up early in the morning i used to take half an hour nap agar mano main 9 baje aa rahi hu office se i used to take half an hour or one hour nap and 10:30 uh, se i used to start studying i used to study for good 2 3 hours that really helped for me helped me my coffee i used to sit with a good coffee clean my desk have that uh, have all the distractions away from me you know uh, i am that kind of person mujhe na main student phone on rahega to i will go to instagram facebook snapchat sab kuch karna hota hai mujhe so what i used to do main apna phone off kar deti and before just uh, switching off my phone i used to stay away from family i used to text just text my parents that i'll be uh, my phone will be off i'm studying for next uh, few hours so distractions of to pura hi avoid karo uh that work for me uh whatever suits you please uh, go ahead with it but don't get distracted just stay focused uh what if work becomes more interesting than studying how to stick back to studying more so uh to dan there's no harm in uh, like it's really good if you find your work very interesting but um, it ha- it has to be both ways if job se kaam nahi karne wali hai you have to give up folk- papers also because uh, at least when our in our profile we have our salary also linked to uh, our papers we have good study policy so you know with you get incentive also ki ha mujhe papers clear karne hai because my salary badhegi so you should have that interest also you know in your mind ki ha mujhe salary bhi badhani hai khali job interesting hai wo to achhi baat hai usse bhi tumhari salary badh jayegi but actually your profile mein you have to give your papers also and because now this industry is so competitive pressures are there to zyada papers ke so you have to excel in studies also so that's my point on it any tips on handling peer pressure and seniors pressure and family against prioritizing work life balance yes 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 so uh, i'll give you my background here i belong to an orthodox family you know uh, is way it's from maruf khan okay so mere sath kya tha ki mere family mein um, girls were you know not um, that much uh, empowered ki ha tum log padhai karo job karo यूजली आई बिलोंग टू मारवाड़ी फैमिली हमारे फैमिली में ना वो माइंड सेट होता है कि हाँ ठीक है थोड़ा बहुत पढ़ लेगी उसके बाद शादी करा देंगे अच्छे फैमिली में चल जाएगी बट आई वॉज वेरी क्लियर दैट मुझे आई हैव टू बी इंडिपेंडेंट मुझे एक्सेल करना है जॉब में भी पढ़ाई में भी तो इट्स इट्स योर डील यू नो वो एंथुजियाजम खुद में ही आना चाहिए यू हैव टू हैव दैट माइंड सेट की नहीं मुझे करना ही है तो एटलीस्ट मेरे साथ तो वही था कि मेरे तो आई हैड लॉट ऑफ प्रेशर फ्रॉम माय फैमिली कि क्या करोगे इतना पढ़ लिख के बट मुझे करना है तो करना है वाला सीन था पियर प्रेशर में क्या है कि सराउंड ही अपने आप को वैसे लोगों से करो कि हु मोटिवेट यू हु हैज सेम माइंडसेट दे आर आल्सो वेरी मत कीन कि हां दे हैव टू डू समथिंग इन द करियर एंड प्रेशर आ रहे तो डोंट लेट इट स्पॉइल यू यू नो कि तुम वो सब प्रेशर के चक्कर में अपना करियर को हैम्पर होने दोगे सो दैट्स माय पॉइंट ऑन इट बहुत सारे क्वेश्चन आ गए यहाँ पे कैन यू डिस्क्राइब स्टूडेंट प्रोग्राम एट टाटा या ये ओके स्टूडेंट प्रोग्राम आई आई डोंट कैन यू प्लीज हेल्प मी लाइक कैन यू प्लीज डिस्क्राइब वॉट यू मीन बाई स्टूडेंट प्रोग्राम डू इन स्टडी पॉलिसी और वॉट इज इट जस्ट टेक्सट हो गई आई गो बैक टू आई गो टू द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन मीन बाई 
with four five people how much uh, does an average individual team earn after graduation yeah it it is very uh, it's not very clear in the industry four five papers may uh, three i four to seven eight lakhs tak mil sakta hai uh, i can't really comment uh, much about it you can go up to maybe you know 10 11 lakhs also fresher level pe tab hi milta hai kuch companies deti hai there can be companies who pay more also but ha uh, don't have expectations very high internship mein you know mere time pe to uh, i was i was i interned in national insurance company where i was not paid anything uh, so i was ready to go for that also because you know i i focused on learning over earning that time because initial stage mein your priority should be learning so that's about it growth and ultimately you know growth aa jayega if your work is good if you have that uh, skills in you and papers be clear ho rahe hai acha growth dikh raha hai acha progress bana rahe ho to earning ho jayegi eventually so you have to, you don't have to bother about it is the pay scale at fresher level or internship enough to handle own expenses it depends on company to company fresher level to like if you spend good half year one year if you have slogged well if you have worked well well you have that good learning understanding of the concept on which you have worked you can wear your expenses mai bombay mein thi mere expenses i could wear my expenses i had to you know internship time pe mujhe thoda bahut ghar se help lena padta tha but once i got permanent after like two and a half months of my internship i never asked for money from my parents so ha that you have to that actually depends on company to company at least my company had good uh, good policy so that way i was able to afford my expenses uh so that question was about study policy uh this can be taken up later yeah study policy it varies from company to company not many companies are you know uh, public also about uh, their policy can't really sure i'm not really sure if i can disclose it also but yeah there's there's enough incentive for you to sit and study at least at fresher level uh any more questions we still have 10 minutes remaining yeah what are the most important papers to clear before graduation from job perspective so uh, i'll say rather than job perspective it's important that you clear your ct series except for ct2 and ct7 i'm not sure uh, what uh, these papers are called now as per new curriculum but uh, other than ct2 and ct7 sare papers clear kar lo before till your graduating kyunki baad mein practice karne ka time nahi ho milta hai after you start working and uh, <clears throat> if you are done with those paper you can you know uh do your ca ca2 ca3 again cp2 cp3 as per new curriculum or if you are very clear that i have to get into uh, say a life insurance company then you can give sp2 that will clear your concepts and uh, it will also help you clearing the interviews because you uh, the interviewer will see that you have concepts clear if you have studied that paper if you are uh, health insurance you have, you can go for sp1 if you're not sure which industry you want you can obviously go for ca what the big paper you have good headache go so depending agar general mein jana hai to general ka sp de do investment mein jana hai banking mein jana hai to unka specialization paper de do so depend ki kitna time hai but first clear on focus on your technical papers <laughs> is scholars matter uh, i'm not sure what your question is but uh, graduation from good college give you an upper hand because you know it's not about the study there it's also about the exposure you get from good college and uh, you actually um uh, एक तो एक्सपोजर में क्या होता है कि यू गेट गुड सर्कल ओवर है जैसे अगर मैंने जैसे किया था ग्रेजुएशन आई हैड मेनी सीनियर्स हु माय कुड अप्रोच आई आई कुड आस्क फॉर देयर गाइडेंस 
तो एंड वहाँ पे कमिटीज अच्छी होती है यू गेट दैट एक्सपोजर फ्रॉम द गुड कमिटीज इफ यूर पार्ट ऑफ द इवेंट दैट हेल्प्स यू हैव दैट यू नो पर्सनल ग्रोथ एक होता है थोड़ा ग्रूमिंग होती है तो दो थिंग्स मैटर अगर कॉलेज वाइज वो देख रहे हो तो ओवरऑल मैं बात कर रही हूँ नॉट जस्ट एक्चुरल एंड अगर एक्चुरल स्पेसिफिक देखना है तो जैसे अगर इको ऑनर्स कर रहे हो स्टैट्स ऑनर्स कर रहे हो सो दीज विल गिव एन अपर हैंड अपर हैंड ओवर दैम पहले जो काम मैं खुद कर रही थी अब मुझे नीचे लेवल नीचे लोग मिल जा रहे हैं जिनसे मुझे करवाना है तो इट्स ऑलमोस्ट सेम पहले मैं खुद दिमाग खराब मेरे खुद की दिमाग खराब होती थी अब दूसरों को गाइड करते करते मेरी दिमाग खराब होती है या टाइम वेस्ट होता है या टाइम जा रहा है उसमें एंड मेरा भी ऑब्वियसली माय गोल हैज आल्सो चेंज सो आई हैव टू लुक एट थिंग्स फ्रॉम अ डिफरेंट परस्पेक्टिव बट वर्क लाइफ तो इट हैज नेवर बीन गुड बट यू हैव टू लर्न टू मैनेज इट इट्स अ आर्ट सो या दैट्स अबाउट इट हाउ मेनी मिनिमम नंबर ऑफ पेपर्स यू सजेस्ट टू क्लियर बिफोर एंटरिंग जॉब और इंटर्नशिप it's it's a very you know uh, it's there's no specific answer to it but ha uh, you should at least uh, try to clear your ct series before you start working but if you haven't cleared yet and if you're applying for jobs please don't get disheartened it's nowhere uh, you know it's not mentioned in any of the company's policy ki ye papers itne papers to hone hi chahiye if you have a good profile if you have good concept if your concepts are clear uh it's not necessarily it's not necessary that the interviewer will see ki iske itne papers hai iske itne hai so depends on your interview also how your concepts are so that's about it which feel is more interesting like non life or life this will be taken up later it's not relevant um So the question i'm joining internship in pension retirement department with one paper cleared and some of my friends are telling that there's not so much scope in this department and then the learning regarding this won't help me as much um and you should clear more papers before joining so if you have time before you start working definitely you should clear more papers there's uh, whoever suggested this thing to you uh, was really uh, correct If you have time before joining, please give as many papers as you can. Practically, so much as possible. Hey, do that thing. And it's not that there's no scope in this department. There is scope in every field. And if whatever work you do there, you will learn something out of it. So uh, don't you know think that it's not uh, it's not uh, having much scope and don't uh, take a decision to. not take this job please go for it and clear your papers while you're working i have also done it i have also cleared papers while i've been working so just keep that enthusiasm have motivation and go for the paper go for the job um yeah i think uh, there are just two more questions if you praveen feels uh, i can answer those or uh, do we have time to answer two more questions एग्जामिशन yeah it's it's very person specific for me you know having that pressure has always helped me i as i told you all i am that i have that competitive nature ki samne wale ke the papers clear hai mere pe nahi mere khali abhi tak five years past papers cleared hai so that motivates me a lot you know ki i have to also clear papers quickly so it depends on uh, person to person i take that as a competitive thing and for me that's really motivating but for others it might not be to so depends on you Last one, uh, are burnout common in actuarial work? Yes, it is. But you, that's why I said you have to learn to say no. You can't, you know, please everyone. Uh, 
so stick to your goal and uh, just work towards it that's it be determined and you can't please everyone to so keep that thing in mind just learn to say no to avoid burnouts so yeah that's about it we are done uh, i don't think we can take up more questions now uh, thank you all so much uh, for attending this session uh, it was really nice talking to each one of you thank you so much uh, rashi di uh, for taking out time for uh, for us and taking such an insightful session uh, and yes we do have burnouts that is one of the reasons we kept the session with you and we seriously learned a lot and could actually correlate with what all you mentioned thank you for sharing your journey with us so i'll be disturbing you more for keeping such sessions with us and hope we have some more in future uh, thank you so much uh, all of you to uh, for joining us on sunday thank you so much rashi ji thank you thank you i also know how to say no uh, so let's uh, <laughs> keep the other sessions after my exams sure um, after april and maybe after you <laughs> so yeah happy to have other sessions see you all next time bye